We are now entering a second weekend where police are struggling to find a missing 15 month old. Evelyn Boswell has not been seen since December. So far, all leads have come up empty. Tonight, we've learned Evelyn's grandmother is out of jail. She was only charged for probation violations and theft. She has not been charged in the baby's disappearance. When she first appeared in court, Angela said she just wanted to get back and search for her grandchild. Today, that search focused on a Tennessee mobile home out in Sullivan County. TBI began looking this morning, would only say it's part of an ongoing investigation. They say this is far from the first search warrant executed and will not be the last. Lauren Lowry tonight joins us to walk us through the week's big events. Yeah, so this has been a tough case for TBI and other agencies that are helping in this search. They say there's been a lot of misinformation and even a lack of cooperation, too. 15-month-old Evelyn Boswell was last seen in December, but the hunt to find her only began last week when she was first reported missing. Since then, the grandmother of the baby, along with the grandmother's boyfriend, have been arrested in North Carolina. They were brought back to Tennessee on Monday. The very next day, Evelyn's mother, Megan Boswell, was arrested by the Sullivan County Sheriff's Office for false reporting. Tuesday was also the same day Boswell said in an interview she, in preg uh, she was pregnant and couldn't take a polygraph test because of the Sheriff's Office policy. That's a lie as the Sullivan County Sheriff's Office says they don't give the test and they never requested that she take one. And then on Wednesday, crews searched a pond in Wilkes County, North Carolina, but nothing was found. And that was the last known search until the mobile home search that Tracy just mentioned today. And that brings us to today, where so far nothing has come from that search. Even with the more than 700 tips, TBI is still asking for your help if you can. Tom.